I'm going to show you an easy way to extract your images from their backgrounds using your quick selection tool. You can find your quick selection tool here or type W on your keyboard to bring that up. Then you want to come over to your image, make your brush size a little bit bigger to accommodate your image. And you want to select all the parts of your image that you want to keep. Okay, so for the most part, that's what we want to keep. Now there'll be parts in here that we want to cut out. I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller. You'll notice that there's a plus in the middle of this brush. If I hold down my Alt key, it turns to a minus. That means we are, we are removing that from the selection. Make it just a little bit smaller and come in and just deselect all of these areas. This green, we we'll definitely want to deselect that. But we don't have to be terribly exact with this because our Refine Edge tool is going to, going to help us with this selection. Let's go back in and we'll add that part. Oops, let's not do that. Control Z. Love Control Z. Okay. And again, hold in our Alt key, deselect this part, these parts of the image. And that's pretty good to give you the idea. Okay, once you are done with your selection, you will choose the mask tool. Over here, we're going to add a mask to this layer, and what that does is it will cut away your background based on your selection. Next, you'll want to come to your Refine Mask tool. So, right click on your mask and bring up Refine Mask. Now, I have my view mode set to view the selection on black. That's the easiest way for me to determine um, what this what this uh, mask actually looks like. So I'm going to zoom way in so you can see what it looks like. And it's pretty jagged, but for the most part we've, we've told Photoshop what we want to keep and what we want to throw away. Now we want to give it some additional information. Um, we want to set our smart radius um, to about, I start with 15. Okay, and you're going to notice these edges changing um, once these um, features are put in place here. I'm going to set my contrast to 40. And you can see that that really cleaned up the edges. But they're a little bit jagged. So I like to set my feather um, to about 1. Now this is a personal preference. But I, I don't like a real hard edge. This gives it a nice softness there. So now if we zoom out, we've got a pretty nice selection here. Except for a couple of areas. So let's come in and let's clean up these areas. So with our edge detection brush, we will just paint over these areas. And Photoshop will clean that up for us. Now if they're not perfect, and they may very well not be, we'll go in later and I'll show you how to further clean these up. There's not a whole lot of contrast in here, so you can you can see that it's having a hard time detecting the edge, um, and that will happen. It's not a perfect tool, but it's a very helpful tool. You can see there that that helped us out quite a bit there. So um, this is basically what we do: go around your go around all of your edges, clean them all up. And once we're, once we're happy with that, we're going to click OK. So now we've got a pretty, a pretty good extraction there. Um, what I like to do next is create a new layer, um, fill it with black, drag that underneath my cutout layer so that I can go in and I can clean up those areas that, that I know need some help. Like we know in here that this definitely needed some help. So I'm going to click into my mask layer. I'm going to choose a soft brush. So grab your brush tool here or type B on your keyboard. Now with black, 
we want to just come in here and paint in your mask any of these areas that we don't want to see. Oops. Okay. So we're going to just carefully paint all those out around your entire image, which shouldn't be too awful much. We've um, the refine mask tool has really done all the hard work for us here. So you're going to go around your image and you're going to do that. Here you can see we actually need to add part of the image back in. So I'm going to paint with white. So change your foreground color to white and paint these back in because this is part of the area that we wanted to keep. Okay. So you're basically going to go around your entire image and you're going to clean it up in that way to get a perfect mask. Once you are done with that, you're ready to put this into any template that you wish. So I'm going to grab my move tool right now and I've got a template open over here, one of our Amped Effect templates. So I'm going to go back over here, I'm going to grab my move tool and I'm going to move this little guy over into our template. I'm going to move it down to the layer just above where it says your cutout photo. And then he is all ready to be sized and fit to this template. And that is how we extract our images.